Here's how to use ChatGPT on your Apple Watch. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. If you haven't heard, and I'm, I'm assuming you have, ChatGPT is the next big thing and version four was actually just released. Here, I'm gonna show you how you can use ChatGPT on your Apple Watch, including even using your voice and then being able to save all those messages or save those responses and send them to somebody uh, in a text or an email. So let's go ahead and dive into this. To do this, you're gonna start by heading to the App Store on your Apple Watch. We're gonna go ahead and search for an app called PD. PD is built as an AI assistant that runs on ChatGPD. Has a bunch of neat features including voice control and the ability to automatically share the responses from ChatGPT. It's $4.99 so you do have to pay for this app but it is seriously cool. So let's go ahead and open it up and try it out. So here is the interface. If you tap on the little face here in the center, that'll bring up kind of like the information on the app that just gives you an introduction to it. Uh, it's also where you can toggle on a speech control there at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and tap cancel. There's a text box here on the main screen. I can go ahead and open that up and I can type any of my questions to PD slash chat GPD. Uh, we can also use the microphone down here in the lower corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that and use that to ask a question. How many legs does a caterpillar have? Once I tap done, it's gonna go ahead and think about that for just a moment. There we go. Caterpillars can have between 10 and 16 legs. Super useful. Let's go ahead and try something else. Tap on done. Again, let's ask another question. Can you write a poem for my wife, Faith, who loves daisies? Let it go ahead and think about this for just a moment. Of all the flowers, daisies rain, their petals white as winter snow. But oh, the golden center's bright, like sunbeams on a summer's night. Faith, my dear, I hope these words convey my love. In every way, like daisies, pure and full of life, you light up each and every day. That was so sweet. So we can go ahead and tap on share, and I can actually go ahead and send this directly to my wife as a response right here in a text message. Very easy to do, just tap on faith. There we go, she's right there at the top. There's my poem, it'll send it right to her. It doesn't send the question, only the response from ChatGPD. Let's try one more here. What's the difference between a Thanksgiving cactus and a Christmas cactus? Let it think again for a moment. There we go, that is exactly right. And I know you guys can't hear it on video, but there's actually audio. So this will actually speak the results to you that you can enable or disable. You can also just turn off the sound on your Apple Watch and it won't come out, but you can have those responses read to you, uh, just like you're responding to Siri or something right here on your Apple Watch. Other than through text messages, you can also send your responses as an email to people as well. So again, it, you can add your contacts, it has your email you can change, the subject line, and then it'll include the body of the message as the response from ChatGPD. So that's it. That's how easy it is to use ChatGPD on your Apple Watch. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And I have a whole separate video just on how to use this on your Mac natively in the menu bar. It's really great. So check out that other video as well. It's linked down in the description. Otherwise, I'll check you guys in the next video.